Hi everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing Pocket Camp video. So I know I don't usually record at night time, but as you can see it's actually night time right now. And today we're going to be celebrating this new event that's on where we collect acorns. So this is a gyrodite event, but as you can see the gyrodites aren't actually gyrodites, they're acorns. And this is for the Deciduous Delights event as well. So this is acorn accruement, I think is how you say it. Collect acorns to craft acorn themed items. And these items look so gorgeous. I really really want to collect all of these, I think they look so beautiful and I think they're going to go really well with the mushroom items from last autumn as well. So I'm super excited to collect these and this is a Gyrodite event so if you've watched my videos before you know how this works, I'm just going to be walking around collecting these and chatting to you guys about tons of stuff. But before we get properly into today's video, I wanted to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Rumble Blast. Rumble Blast is a completely free adventure puzzle game that despite only just being released, is loved by so many. The idea of puzzle games isn't anything new, but the developers of Rumble Blast have been able to give new life to this familiar concept. The gameplay is simple and unique, and there are challenges from almost the first level. You don't just have to collect a couple of cubes of the same colour like in most puzzle games, but you actually have to come up with a whole strategy in order to collect combinations and pass the levels. There are a huge number of levels with a massive variety of puzzles, and you'll have your own personal squad team filled with super cool animal characters and fighters to help increase the power of your explosions. I mean, there's a super cute deer character called Violet, and there's even a raccoon character called Nooka. What's not to love? After just a short time of playing, you'll realise that this game is equally as challenging as it is rewarding. I actually had a lot of fun playing this, I found it to be such a fun concept for a puzzle game, the character art is lovely, and I found it to be a super addicting game to play at the end of the day. For some reason it's super satisfying to collect all of the the blocks you'll need and then get to watch all the rockets shoot around. If this seems like something you'd enjoy as well, I'd love if you guys would check it out and click the link in the description. So thank you so much to Rumble Blast for sponsoring today's video and helping support me and the channel. And we also have some fresh fruit girls on right now. Oh look, Tom is here! Getting dark out already, huh Lulu Meowza? In my day we didn't have all these fancy words like baguette, latte, ballet, they're just French words. We had bread, coffee and pointy jumping dancing and that's how we liked it. <laughs> Well, that's a bit ignorant of you, Tom. What the heck? And he wants some fish. Of course he does. You need something or what? Here we go. Well, thanks. Don't mind if I do. Lulu, put her there, old pal. You really come through for me today, Meowza. Oh, he's so sweet. It's so lovely to speak to him again. If you guys only watch my Pocket Camp videos, you might not know, but Tom was in my City Folk Let's Play and he was mine and basically everyone's favourite character in that series. Oh, you're really generous. I wasn't sure if you were joking around before, Meowza. You know what? This looks so good. I'm going to eat it all right now. You want in on the action? Oh, this is so cute! I'm enjoying fresh fruit with Tom, this is the best. Sorry I'm always imposing on you like this. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? No I'm not. But I'll tell you something that is the truth. I really appreciate all your hard work. Thanks kiddo. Oh, he's so sweet! I love him so much. And the reason I'm recording late at night today is because my boyfriend has been working crazy hours recently and he's still at work right now and I'm in the house on my own so I figured I might as well record my Pocket Camp video now rather than tomorrow. Obviously this is a Jaredite event so I'm sure I will be recording over a couple of days. Probably won't have enough acorns to craft all the furniture today. Um, so let's see what goals we have. We have to collect apples and we're still collecting four ginkgo leaves. We unlocked 1,200 bells and we got a chestnut harvest hat. That hat is so cute. And we've collected 15 acorns. Oh, if we collect 25, we'll get some leaf tickets. So that'll be our goal for today. Oh my gosh, and we have a lucky fortune cookie. Last time I recorded with you guys, I swear we had a 5,000 bell cookie. This is such good luck. It's Apollo Cinema cookie. So let's see what we get. You will have an amazing dream, but forget to write it down. Oh, that's sad. And we got a popcorn cinema seat. I mean, I don't think I'll use that, but I mean, it's something to have, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to pay leaf tickets for it, at least. Oh, one of our islands has returned. Let's see what we got. And we got a leaf ticket map. Oh my goodness, we're so lucky. Okay, so let's see. Are there any more acorns around here? I don't think so. So why don't we head to Lost Law Creek? Okay, so here we are. And there's some lemons over here, and of course a little acorn to collect. I wish I had a more autumnal outfit for you guys, but I'm really enjoying my current outfit because it looks the most like my avatar that I use um, on my channel, my little character who has angel wings or fairy wings most of the time, and 
yeah, I got this new wig and I got this new angel outfit. I really like it. I've had the angel wings since last Christmas and I got this dress in a random 5000 bell cookie, which I was so happy about. It's actually a summer dress, but I think it goes really well with the angel wings. And I'm putting all of these lemons for sale right now because I know how much you guys love to buy my lemons. Let's collect these pears as well for the fruit goals. I really hope you guys have been doing well recently. I've been feeling really tired to be honest with you. I don't know if it's just because I'm having to stay up really late because my boyfriend's working hours so we're not eating dinner until like 12 p.m. sometimes 1 a.m. and I just feel so tired recently. I'm not sure if you guys can tell that. I feel like in my last video which was my roost um, video in New Horizons where I was making the roost. I feel like I sounded so tired in that. I'd only just woken up when I recorded that and um, yeah, I just feel so sleepy lately. I haven't been eating right either because the oven in our house is broken. So I've just been eating microwave meals and oh my goodness, I just feel like so tired, you know? And here's Diana getting ready to settle in for the evening, Lulu. As far as I'm concerned, there's no better autumnal treat than a warm bowl of butternut squash soup. Yet people who aren't gourmands can't always appreciate that subtle earthy flavour, no doy. Nothing against them, mind you. It's not their fault that their palates are less refined than mine. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's the most snooty thing I've ever heard in this game. Oh my goodness. Let's give her these oranges she needs. The villagers aren't as snooty in New Horizons. Hey, thanks for that. You just made my whole day. I love her colour scheme so much. Why don't we catch a couple of fish while we're here? So yeah, I'd really love to know how you guys are doing in the comments. I just feel like I haven't actually sat down and spoke to you properly for ages. Um, why don't we head to Sunburst Island? Okay, so here we are, and there's only a couple of acorns here it seems. I found that the bigger areas spawn acorns more often, and this may not be true, but I feel like when you log off the game and come back on, what area you're in first is the one that spawns the most acorns i found. So I usually try to spawn in the biggest areas. This is my friend Gab. Hi Gab, if you're watching. <laughs> I noticed your character over here. So cute. I love your little apple dress. I have a dress just like this in New Horizons actually. It's so cute. So yeah, like I was saying, I don't I don't know if this is a trick or not but when I log off the game I try to log off in a big area like the woods or Lost Little Creek and I find that more acorns will spawn that way. That could just be like my mind playing tricks on me and you guys have to tell me if it feels the same for you or not. So last year in this autumn event I think it was little mushrooms we were collecting. I love how autumnal things are in Pocket Camp. I'm really struggling to find acorns in New Horizons if only collecting acorns was this easy in New Horizons. So if you didn't know in New Horizons you have to collect acorns as well to craft for furniture and it's so difficult though because the spawn rate is so low it's like so far into the month now i shake like all my trees every single day and i have about three acorns and like one pine cone and i just can't craft anything because the acorns and the pine cones never spawn they never come out of the trees it's so annoying oh we got some leaf tickets awesome and we finished some more of our daily goals yay and we got some fertilizer for that i feel like i have so much fertilizer in this game i like to use it on flower events that i really like the furniture for and look at all these fresh fruit goals we have we only have 10 hours left to complete them though i haven't been playing that much recently i think i'm gonna leave it here for today and i'll probably come back and play this again tomorrow or something and then i'll speak to you guys then so i guess i'll speak to you soon it's the next day now in the evening it's so much brighter and happier than my last footage um i never really play at night time so i hope you guys enjoyed watching me play at night time in pocket camp it's actually sunset right now so it's another evening where i'm just home alone and playing this with you guys and today again we're collecting acorns and we're just gonna be walking around and chatting and having some fun i keep getting so many sea stars on my beach lately in pocket camp you guys have to let me know if you get a lot of them as well i just get so many i'm not sure if that's a seasonal thing or a new thing or a rare thing I have no idea but I just get so many sea stars that I don't even know what to do with them all and hopefully we can have enough acorns to craft some furniture today so I think we've collected most of the acorns from here oh we have another 5,000 bell cookie what the heck oh my goodness and it's Carrie's apple cookie I so badly wanted this I really love the look of this cookie I hope we get something good I really want the basket of apples because I think that item looks so adorable you will never get another blister on your foot well that's pretty good luck Oh, it's a fresh baked apple pie. That looks so cute. I'm going to replace the pie in my campsite with this one. Okay, so here we are on Lost Little Creek collecting some more acorns. And oh my goodness, we have a perfect lemon over here. I have to collect this and sell it to you guys. Oh, I have no room. I 
I feel like I never have room recently. I never have enough storage for anything. It costs 20 leave tickets? Are you kidding me? That's so expensive. Oh my goodness, it looks like a lot of you have been buying my things. So thank you so much to everyone here that's been buying my fruit. I hope you guys enjoyed the fruit and giving them to your villagers. So thank you so much. Okay, so now I've put them up for sale. Let's keep looking for acorns. I'd really love to hear what you guys think of this event. Do you prefer this one over the mushroom one if you celebrated last year as well? I really like both. I think I'm more of a fan of mushrooms though because they're more like fairy-like though I love acorns just as much to be honest. And here's Freya who's also from my city folk let's play. Oh, would you look at that sunset? Spending time out in nature like this simply has to be good for you. You know, I wasn't sure I'd enjoy meeting new people out here on the road, but as it turns out, I rather like it. And when I'm not feeling social, I can just move on. What is it that the kids say? Ah yes, see you wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> Freya seems so different in Pocket Camp compared to my City Folk Let's Play. You're here to see me? Ha, of course you are, of duh. I feel like Freya should be an Uchi rather than a Snooty. You guys have to let me know what you think though. I think she's definitely super beautiful, but I think she'd make a really good Uchi. Good to know I can count on you for literally anything at literally any time, right, Ufta? Look at Ruby just stood there with a blank expression. Oh, here's one in the tree. I love how they hide them in the trees like that. Okay, so here we are at Sunburst Island and Shari's here. Shari's actually from my New Leaf Let's Play. I actually really like Shari. I'm tempted to have her in New Horizons instead of Fuchsia. I really don't know. I love my Fuchsia and Lyman so much. I always talk about my villagers when I'm playing Pocket Camp for some reason because I'm always conflicted about which ones I want since you can only have a small amount. Good evening, or as the crickets call it, showtime. <laughs> Am I hallucinating or is this for me? I really owe you one cheeky. Oh, her catchphrase is cheeky, I forgot that. Here you are making my day Lulu, thanks. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear dogs in the background by the way. In all my videos recently, you can just hear my neighbour dogs barking in the background, it's so annoying. But there's really nothing I can do about it unfortunately. Okay, so here are all the beautiful items for this event. We have a full tree stump stall with little mushrooms on it. We have an acorn cluster, an autumn harvest basket, that's lovely. An autumn acorn lamp, oh my goodness, I really like that. We have a full tree ring table, an OK Motors acorn tree, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love the little OK Motors characters on there. We also have these beautiful acorn earrings and oh, I'm so sad the acorn house is for leaf tickets. That's such a shame, that was the item I was so excited about, but I'm not going to pay that much for it because that's just stupid, I'm not paying leaf tickets for that item. And they've also reissued the mushroom items from last year, but as you can see I already have all of them. <laughs> we also have these honey items which I've been crafting a few of, they're so beautiful. But I really love this acorn lamp, I kind of really want to craft it, but I I think it's probably a better idea if we craft these smaller items first. Let's also order this harvest basket and they're both finished straight away. I'd really love to know if you guys decorate for autumn and Halloween and stuff because my family doesn't really do that. We never decorate for Halloween, we never decorate for autumn, but I really wish we did because I love celebrating the seasons, it's like my favourite thing. I really wish I could decorate for autumn and fall but you know it's kind of hard to go out to the shops and buy decorations and stuff like that with everything going on. I don't even think most shops are even stocking things like that because I don't know I guess it's just not really necessary at this time. Is it dinner time already? I haven't even started thinking about what I want to eat. Oh stitches. I love Stitches, he's so cute. You know Lulu, I love pastries, but lately I've been trying to eat more fruit. That's why I've been eating tons of apple fritters and banana bread. I'm not sure those count though. Maybe I should try eating a piece of fruit instead. Have any extra fruit you pick lately? Sure, let's give him some of our really nice fruit that he'll like. Maybe some lychee. Wow, some lychee! This kind of fruit doesn't grow around here, does it? I can't believe you're giving me such a rare fruit. I'm so happy. Aww. Oh, let me know guys, do you call it lychee or something else? Because I remember in one of my videos, someone commented making fun of the way I say lychee and I was really confused because I thought that's just the way you pronounce it. And we got our leaf tickets! Yay! So here we are in the marketplace. I never come here in videos because there's not really any reason to but if you didn't know sometimes acorns spawn here so oh look here we go. So there's one. It's so cute to see the characters in their little cars here. We have Reese and Cyrus, Timmy and Tommy and Mabel and Sable. Their shop is so cute. Welcome back! So are you interested in selling anything today? Selling anything? I don't sell anything to her. And look how cute Sable is over there. I always forget how she's just hidden back there in the car. 
That's so cute. And if you didn't know, acorns actually also spawn in OK Motors, um, so it's a good idea to look here as well. I really wish they'd come up with some more camper designs. I feel like they released the first set of camper designs years ago and they just like never released new ones. I'd really love to see some new ones released. Okay, so we're back here at the campsite now. I'm going to put down some of the new items we've crafted. So I wanted to switch out my little pie over here for the apple one because I feel like it looks so seasonal and cute. I love that Carrie's cookie. If you didn't know, I had Carrie in my wild world. When I was little, I really felt like she was like my mom in the town. I think the kangaroo villagers are so underrated and I just think Carrie's adorable. So I'm sure if you've been my friend on Pocket Camp for a while, you'll probably sometimes see I have Carrie in my campsite and that's just from when I'm missing her from my wild world days. So I'm thinking we should put this harvest basket somewhere. Maybe I should get rid of the candle or the leaves or something. Oh, it fits here actually. Okay, so I've just placed everything down and changed things up a bit. I have a jack-o-lantern. We have have a little apple pie over here and some honey. We also have this big honey pot behind here which is such a gorgeous item. I love it so much and things are looking super cozy. We have little Claude over here sleeping next to the honey pot. I really love this jack-o-lantern. We don't really call them that here. I think we just call them pumpkins. I've never really heard anyone in my area use the term jack-o-lantern but actually I think I'm gonna leave it here for today guys. We managed to craft quite a lot of the furniture. I'm really enjoying this event so far. I imagine that this video won't be up until the event's already finished so I'd really love to to hear what you guys thought of this event. What did you think of the items? Are you excited for any of the upcoming Halloween items? I'd really love to know which you prefer, these items or the ones in New Horizons. But yeah, I think we're going to leave it here for today. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please do leave a like and subscribe only if you want to though. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you on my next video. Bye!